loss can have a big emotional impact on both men and women. There are some things that you can do, though, to take good care of your hair. Redondo Beach dermatologist and hair restoration expert, Dr. Sanusi Umar, joins us now. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks Can't help noticing you're a hair restoration expert, but you're bald. <laughs> I get asked that question all the time. Actually, that was what got me interested in the field. Really? Yes, because of my own personal experience. Um, I'm a hair transplant expert, mm -hmm. um, but I cannot perform the same on myself. Oh. <laughs> that would be difficult. <laughs> Besides, I need that to remind me of why I'm doing this anyway. Right. Before we get to that point, baldness, uh, some people experience hair loss, and we're talking about men or women, but you say there are some things we can do to prevent it. Exactly. Um, you know, you could lose hair because the hair is breaking up, because you can lose hair from hair breakage or it may be coming off the roots. Mm -hmm. And it could also be genetic. There are a number of causes of hair loss. But there are things you can do to minimize uh, the extent of hair loss in you. And starting with what you eat, right? Exactly. So for instance, uh, you need to you know, have a balanced diet, a good source of protein, a good source of vitamins, vitamin B, especially in biotin. This, for example, is a leafy spinach. Spinach is a good source of iron, which has been implicated in hair loss. It's also a good source of biotin, which mm -hmm. is very important in uh, maintaining good hair. Uh, broccoli also is in that uh, group. Um, if you, you need protein, a good source of protein, and salmon is particularly uh, good for uh, hair maintenance. It contains the essential uh, oil called uh, omega-3 mm, fatty acids, about that. which you just mm -hmm. talked about. Mm -hmm. But um, it's also a, a good thing to have for hair because the omega-3 contributes to the oil coating of the hair, which protects the hair from damage. And taking salmon is a good way to go for that. Now, for patients who, uh, people that cannot take meat or fish, beans is a very good uh, source of protein as well. Okay. And vegetarian process. So you have some yeah. vitamins too. Exactly. So if you because of dietary restrictions or for some other reason cannot get your good amount of vitamins from the food you eat, then it's recommended that you take to supplements. For instance, vitamin B12. Here you have uh, biotin, biotin, which uh, is a very, uh, very available. And uh, you, know, you, can, you, can, you can take that by way of pills. Uh, also, in California, because of the sun exposure, mm -hmm. And this is something people don't pay much attention to, and we're in summer right now. The ultraviolet rays of the sun. That can make your hair fall out? Exactly. Really? Yes. What it does, it, it damages that protective oil, oil coating of the hair. Mm. It dries it out, it makes it lose its luster, and eventually it leads to breakage. Wow. Obviously, you know that so sunburned hair doesn't look put good. Put a hat on it. Exactly. <laughs> this hair, wide brim height is good. You can take your... Uh, baseball hats, you know, that it's a good way to protect yourself from <laughs> Dave that. Dave likes the hat. Exactly. Like you're a Dodger fan. <laughs> exactly, if you're a Dodger fan. Uh, another thing is these days we have um, hair conditioners that have um, sunscreen, sunscreens in them. And you have hairsprays also that do that. So in the language of, or parlance of hair, uh, uh, hair growth, we call it um, hair protective factor, just as you have sun protective factor. SPF 3, we have HPF um, 90, for instance. This is uh -huh. HPF 90, hair protective factor. And you can spray this on your hair to protect uh, against the damaging effects of the ultraviolet. Before we the move on, Doctor, I know we have a before and after picture that oh. we want to show our viewers. If we can pull that up. So, what, what is this that we're looking at here? This is uh, someone with a, looks like a receding hairline and then the restoration? Yes, that's a young man that has undergone hair transplant at my clinic in Redondo Beach using the uh, uh, UGRAF method. Um, as you can see to your left is uh, a patient that has no two level of hair loss and wow. the other patient has very severe baldness which usually will not be a good candidate for hair transplants. But using the UGRAF method we're able to use hair from uh, the head and other source, other parts of the body to actually make a tr uh, realistic transplant in this kind of patient. And that's a wow. big difference. Yes. That's pretty yes. amazing. And we all, you, I see you have Rogaine here. We often hear ads for it. Does it, does it help? Yes, work? it does. In, some, in, in a percentage of patients, after doing all this, your genetics sometimes will dictate that you still lose your hair. In that instance, you should first of all look to medical treatment, and Rogaine is the only FDA-approved medication for that. 
uh, topical FDA-approved medication. There's a pill called uh, 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 Propecia that people Propecia. take. Right. But Rogaine works. It works in probably about 30% of patients. For most patients, it will stem the tide of mm -hmm. the hair loss for most patients that take it. And in a small percentage of patients, there will be actual new hair growth Very in good. those patients. Right. Interesting. So you have that for women and... Uh, and one for and men as well. Dr. As well. Umar, thank you so thank much. You're we welcome. appreciate you coming in. For more.